Hey Kelly, it's Matthew. I got the two Google Glasses here. The one with the blue tape is the one where, you know, I was using that first and then it started resetting and then Google told me to update it. I updated it, it wasn't working at all. It was still resetting. And then I got it working like after five reflashes and then the Wi-Fi doesn't work and the operating system is terrible. And uh, these are the ones I'm probably gonna be sending back to you because Google didn't, they want me to try to reflash them again. And then after I reflash them, they want me to try to connect with the Wi-Fi with the QR code. So I'm gonna probably do that. But every time I reset these glasses, they, they like reboot like 10, 20 times. I have to try like different things to get them to even come on you know, like close them while they're trying to boot because, you know, that tries to shut them off or whatever. Or, you know, keep pressing the buttons over and over and over and over again. Because if I don't, if I just let it try to boot, it'll flash white and it will never boot. It'll just boot loop and boot loop and boot loop. But I got it up right now. So these are the ones that um, have a hardware issue that I'm probably going to send straight back to Google. And... uh and then hopefully send them back to you because they're probably gonna send them with the software this has, and I don't like that. So um, I'm just gonna show you real quick like how I got these set up and why I like them so much. So uh, I, right there, I got my email for my job and probably something else. But look, like you see uh, that little dot that's my that's what i'm touching at on the glasses i'm not touching the keyboard or anything so i can swipe up you know there's my home screen you know i got those uh the home button multitasking and back at the bottom i can swipe up get to my apps you know i can install whatever app it's not as restricted as this one this one always asks like um, do you want to allow debugging? And even if you had to always allow some, some, sometimes it will still ask you and then you can't use ADB commands or anything until you get it to boot. And when that's like rebooting like 20 times and you're trying to get in recovery, that, that doesn't help. So, um, so as you can see, like, um, there's my pointer. I could basically move up and down. I could do whatever I want. I could even hit the home button, hit multitask and you know, I don't have to swipe to select like on those. Um uh let's see if I can get the keyboard up. So I even got Gboard installed and see like I can type on this keyboard. One See what I'm saying? You know, I can type whatever I want. I'm not really trying to type anything right now, but like the keyboard works. And I'm not touching the keyboard or anything or the computer. This is all me on the glass. And you see button remapper, I usually have it set to go back. Uh, but with these glasses, I can't because of the issue. I can show you that too. And this is the one from you guys. And it comes with Launcher 3. And this one doesn't come with anything like that. It comes with like my glass. And you have to put your own launcher, but it still won't work like the, like these. And I tried to put the launcher from this onto there. And it gives me an error. 
All right, so let's see. And see, uh, your software shows this like as a serial number. Um, and it shows it there. But when you update it with Google software, it'll show the serial number right there. So, like, see this one versus that one. And these are the ones that I usually use that didn't have an issue with this button right here. But now these don't have Wi-Fi. All right, so when you flash these, this is what it comes with stock. Like, okay, so I can swipe down like the old Google Glasses. All right. Uh, like I have to swipe up or down to do that. All right. So let me see, I'm just gonna hit this right here. Swipe over. Like, this is how this is now that they told me to do this. So, all right, so now I'm in the settings. And I can't put your launcher on there. And I tried another launcher 3 AO SP Android open software development or whatever uh, project. But, um, so. Yeah, let's let me show you this. And I got this hotspot on right now. And even this computer can see it. stay on all right um this is what they use and i'm using i gotta use this to even use these these set of glasses because like if i touch the screen or anything it doesn't select anything. It like just goes back or forward or it doesn't really select any of these options. So this is the closest thing I found that I can get on these glasses. So now I'll start fresh. Dark theme. 
I'm gonna dock icon because I can't swipe on this to get up to the apps. And there's no dock icon, it would be right here. Sometimes, like if I reset these glasses and put the Nova Launcher on first, it'll be on there. But since I've been playing with them, I'm trying to get like other launchers working, it's not on there. And let's see if I, all right, so the, the, the uh, G board is still on here. But usually when, when you go to the like keyboard, it, it comes up with some numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can swipe between them and select them, but like you can't get to any letters. And it's not a keyboard like this. And like, look, I'm gonna touch it right now, the Google Glass, and I can't select anything. I can't, I can't even, like this is not doing anything. And then let's see, if I go back to settings, and then this is usually what I do to make it so I can see that little pointer I was showing you on this one. Um, right here you see that all right i'm touching glasses again and there's nothing happening all i could do is just get rid of the the menu i couldn't select anything so now that that touch is stuck there i don't know why but um All right, this is the menu for Gboard user. I'm, on here, I could select things. I could change things. On here, I'm moving. Look, all I could, all I was able to do was get rid of it. All right, so see, even this is on here. And that's their build right there that you could download from that website I sent you. And I think I sent you another, another link where it basically says like, it comes with the stock, you know, the stock OS. And if you want a, a custom launcher, you got to basically develop it yourself like a developer and apply it and all that. And I mean, this one has a hardware problem. I'm gonna show you. And if they send me a new set, I guess I could try to develop my own, you know, AOSP uh, operating system. But um, on these pair right here that I'm gonna send to you, hopefully you're able to get the Wi-Fi up and running and get it back to the software similar to that one. Uh, cause these were the ones that worked, you know, with the home button and everything or the camera button that I, uh, reassigned. Matter of fact, let me show you that on here. So I got it remapped to do nothing right now. And it will still like that, that lock screen you just saw, it will pull up that lock screen like it'll go to sleep and then pull it up and then go to sleep and pull it up and it reduces the battery life and it causes lagging and it makes it die early and when i make video calls instead of being able to do it for like a couple minutes and it dying i could do it for like two minutes and it dies all right so I haven't said to do nothing. All right, so this is our best gonna mess up the glasses if, all right, so usually on these glasses, I had it set to 
Uh, the camera button, the action was back. So, like, if I was, you know, watching a tutorial while I was doing something or a how-to and somebody came up, I could, I could just hit back and then go back to it when they were done or whatever. But now, look, if I hit back on this, hit OK, I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to touch glasses or nothing. All right, so let me just hit it on here. It went back by itself. I'm going to swipe up on the glasses. It won't back by itself. Swipe up again. It, it won't even. So that's that. All right, so.